Welcome to my house. Buck here. I'm back with another one. Woke up this morning and I was having my coffee. So I'd get on my phone, check out the news for the morning. And lo and behold, bang, uh, the Halloween missions are upon us. Fishing planet. So I got down here, got locked in. It's going to take a while, I guess. I figured, well, let's see what's up. Well, let's jump over there. Um, I got a mission. Yay. I got a mission. I didn't think I was going to get anything. If they did the, the normal mission from last year, it, it was already done. Okay, let's jump over to missions here. Completed missions. Um, once upon a Halloween. So it's out now. If you haven't done that, this should all be available to you. Um, I got videos on all this stuff, so you can check that out on the channel. Um, if you need some help getting through any of that. Um, got a lot of good responses last year from it. Woo. Back on completed. Let's get up there. Yeah. Um, so they're out there for you. Once upon a Halloween. So you can check all them out. There's a lot of a lot of baits, a lot of fish, a lot. This is intense. It's intense. But for current, I got a new one. First of the Frankenfish. Now, from what I understand, this might have been something that was out a year or two ago prior to Buck's days of fishing planet. So I didn't have this available, as you can see. It's all none of it's done. So I started to do my homework on this. So I'm ready to go here. Um, I got everything done. I got my poles ready to go. I did a little bit of homework in it. That's something I want to talk about real quick, guys, with everybody. Now, this mission, um, if you're doing it with me here, Kurtz of the Franken, Frankenfish, you need to get the witching recipe book in order to start brewing and summering a potion. Okay, head over to Quanchkin Lake, catch all the wicked witches, pet catfish. All right, we're going after catfish at Quanchkin. All right, so that tells you right off the bat, do your homework right now on the leaderboard because there are no unis. Uh, the biggest catfish down there is the blue. And right now, the biggest blue down there running is 46 pounds. So that's what we're chasing. Now, what you got to be, remember though, blue catfish is also in the game. All right, it's also up at St. Croix. And there's unis up there. The biggest uni in the game right now is 81.298 pounds. And this is a Halloween mission. Um, they could very easily throw us a uni sized fish. Uh, like I said, I've never done this one before. So you guys that have already done this one last year would know. However, I didn't do it, so I don't know. I'm gonna get I'm gonna be prepared for the fact that it may be a, the size of a uni blue. That's 80, 80 pounds. So I'm making sure that I've got that kind of gear. Alright. We gotta catch them on sour bread, moldy cheese, and dried locusts, and we need six of each. And that's what we're going after. And we have to catch them at nighttime. It's fine with me. That's normally when these cats hit anyway. So we're good to go there. Now, let's talk a little bit about the premiums. What's going on here with the event packs? Because normally the DLCs are all cost you real money. Um, for this event, though, there's a lot of DLCs. It don't cost you real money. However, it does cost you your game bait coins. So depending on what level you are, how high you are, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about these because everybody said, well, you know, I can buy I can buy this bait in the bait shop. Well, you can. All right, let's go take a look. All right, real fast, as far as the baits go for you guys. Um, baits, just hit the baits there, and they're all there. They start at level three. Um, and that's where the dried, the sour bread, five for one, dried locust. Now, when you're looking at these, five for one, okay, that's that's basically 0 0.2, 2, 0 0.2 bait coins per hunk of bread. All right, your dried locust, five for two, all right? That's 0 0.4, 0 0.4 bait coins per. And so, but they're in here. You can get 13 of these for three, five of these for three, five for four. So, I mean, you can you can buy these bait coins. You can buy, I mean, buy these baits, these Halloween baits, and they're in there. And you can buy, we well, were just looking at the baits. It's the same thing with the lures. You can buy the lures. They start at level three, and you can actually purchase. Now, these lures get expensive, okay? You get up here into the Fire Opal Jerk Bait 42, the Vampire Mouse Lure 66. Um, you're, you're 42 for the Slimy Crank, right? So... <clears throat> You gotta pay attention to what you're gonna buy here, all right? And but they're all they're they're all available then. 
All right, so now let's go back to premium real fast here. Let's go back to our event packs. What I wanted to show you is, now, if you're going to spend real money. Now, these sticks, let's talk about the sticks. The real money, when you're spending real money, you're getting sticks. If you notice, that's the only thing that costs money, except for this little tricky tricks pack. And I, I want to especially talk about that one. But here, like I said, if you've got sticks and rod stands and reels, you're going to pay money for them. But, you know, there's 25 bucks and they're giving you 13 coins. They're giving you 600. They're giving you seven days of premium for that. You're getting the sticks. You're getting the lines. You know how this works, guys. And then you get all these hooks. You get most. Now, each of these, of course, they don't give you all the baits. But for these sticks, um, which are odd, because they, they don't give you, because what you have in this in this gear right here is a bottom rod, a carp rod, and a spod rod, right? And they're giving you spinning baits. <laughs> the, the, these baits here won't even go on that gear, okay? They don't even go on that gear. However, you need them in the game, okay? Even the soft baits don't go on that gear. The only thing that goes on that gear are these the live baits. And, of course, they give you a bunch of them and a bunch of the carp stuff. Right, so you get that and you get quite a bit in all these ponds and passes and um you know and you guys know how it works there and it's the same thing with the spooky fishing pack you can get now here's where you get the rest of it that you need you get the match rod you get the the spinning rod and you get the telescopic rod so between those two you get all the rods you need um throughout throughout the whole event however you just basically you you don't need you don't need these rods. You can buy all the rods. You can buy all the reels. You can buy you know if you have something already equivalent to these. Just look at your fish. Know what poundage that you need. Um, you guys that are up there already, you may not need any of this stuff. You don't need to buy the rods either. Now the baits, what gets you? That's the only thing that gets you is on the baits. Because um, there's no way this isn't like Christmas. You can't go find these baits. You gotta you gotta buy them in the store. So. Um, or you buy them in the DLCs. So let's talk about the DLCs a little bit here. Ones that I wanted to specifically talk about was the Witch's Treats. Okay, now this one here, this one here costs you 20 bait coin. All right, you get 13, 13, and 13. If you were to go to the store and buy this to get you an equivalent of 13, um, which you can't quite get, you have to buy 15, because they come in five, five, and five. So and that costs you 18 bait coin for these guys right here. Well, okay, that's cheaper than 20 bait coin. All right. However, what you got to think about is you're getting this pond pass, right? Which is normally, if you if you're not equivalent to go to that lake, that's going to cost you three dollars in real money. That's the only way to do it. Two ninety nine, two ninety nine. That's the only way to do it. Now, what the kicker is? It's advanced Louisiana license. Well, that license is, um, is it Louisiana. Yeah, Louisiana. Quite good. $5,000 or 50 bait coin. So you're basically spending, you know, 68 bait coin um, if you want to buy this deal. If you want to get this, 68 bait coin. Well, they're giving it to you for 20. All right, so something to think about there and, and what you get in it. Um, that was this guy here. Now, here's another one that, <clears throat> unfortunately, it's real money. Uh, cost you five bucks. Thank you, Dave. Cost you five bucks, but you get 13 bait coins. You get 666 back on the on your currency. You you get these three hooks that are going to be required uh, throughout the mission. You get your skull jig, a silicone spider. That's seven bait coin right there, and you get ten of them. Well, buy one of them is seven bait coin. All right, uh, dead mice 50 50. This is loaded 50 50 at 50, and it's not just Halloween stuff. Now there's 50 frogs and 50 bloodworms for everyday fishing too. You get in that. All right. Maggots, 50 maggots. You get the sour bread, moldy cheese, and I believe the dry locust. All of them enough to complete the first mission. And then you get the candy also. So this is kind of a sweet little deal for five bucks because uh, it's you get important stuff. It's it's important stuff that will really progress you through the game. And it's it's I mean for five bucks. 
That's a good one. And then, so the rest of these guys, you can look through them here. You can see the 99, you know, this one here, the creepy lures thing. And pretty much, now a lot of them, you can get double the stuff if you decide, well, I want a couple of these guys for bait coin. I don't have to spend real money. And you can get loaded up here, three of three of the slimy cranks, and then you get your your roach spoons. And, and these are all required to catch specific fish during that Halloween. I don't know what's going to come up yet on this one, on this mission. We don't know yet. I mean, as soon as we get the we get the book, I'm sure we're going to pop up another mission. And we're going to have to go. All right, guys. So that's a little bit about the DLCs. I think I talked everywhere about Witchy's Treat was one I wanted you guys to talk about. All the skeleton sweets. Yeah, that was the one that's going to cost you 92 bay coins, and it's only 33 bay coins. That was, that was the other one I wanted. This is the skeleton sweets. Where are they at? Yeah, that was this guy here. For 33 bait coins for 50 of them. 50 of them are 12 bait coins, but the license you get in there, the Michigan license, that's 80, that's worth 80 bait coins or for eight grand. And you get it in here, you know, for 33 bait coins. That, that's a deal. Because it would cost you, like I said, 80 bait coin equivalency, 8,000. And, um, and then 12, 12 bait coin to get to 50 chunks of candy so that that one there's a good deal okay let's go inventory let's see what buck's taking over here okay um i'm ready for that uni if i have to have them so i brought i brought my two heavy bottom rods they just they're just stuck in my hands over here. i can't get them out of them they're stuck in the rod case all right there's the i figured it's halloween i'll bring my halloween poles okay so the one they give you is a 72 pound bottom rod. You got a 72 pound, pound bottom rod, that'll do the trick. All right, the next one they give us is a 27 pound match rod. Okay, so you got one right around there, out of work. Okay, and then we've got the spooky spin. That's a 20 pounder, 19.8. And this is a nice, pretty nice setup stick that comes in that DLC. But, you know, any spinning rod, 20 pound spinning rod will work. Uh, what do we got here? And this, this is actually the strongest telescopic pole in the game 23 footer it'll, it'll throw the farthest it, i like this one i carry this one around a lot with me when i when i want to flip it stick so he came in and does what he's, he's there you're not going to find the dlc equivalent to, uh, a stick equivalent to this one unfortunately so you get to i think the troy the, the top line troy is, is real close all right so and then of course in my number one position i just I didn't go with the only float. This was still there from my Congo run, and I just left it in there. It, it's good enough for if I need to catch smaller fish. It'll work for me. All right. So, with that being said, over to the globe. Um, Quanskin Lake it is. We're tracking the mission. I need to get a license. And you have to do it that way. There you go. All right, guys. I'm going to get a license. Um, Dude, last minute check, make sure I got the right gear in the garage, the right boat and the right, you know, the right canoe and all that kind of stuff. And I will see you down on Shoreside, Quenchkin Lake. We'll be right back and we'll get this party started. All right, guys, made it here to Quenchkin. Um, I think we'll start down here. One of my favorite catfish spots is the swampy open space. I like to throw up there. Got a couple of holes for some big cats up along these two trees along here. So I thought we'd just start there. Got a club room open for anybody who would like to join me. Well, I probably won't be here by the time you see this video. Let's get down there. I'm already there. All right. Oh, what do we got? Oops, time. Well, we're down here, and it looks like we see a tackle lantern across the way there, now don't we? And we got one right here. Let's go see what he's all about. There's our sentry egg. So, as you can see, this is the other way. Without buying gold. I mean, without using your gold to collect bait. Right? And there's a lot of waterways. It's a lot of traveling. But something, yes, I can get the baits for free. And as you go to these, make sure you hit every pumpkin at every spin-in joint. So that's what we're going to do now is because we have to wait until dark that's our next thing so we'll fast forward after we collect all of our loot from around the lake so i'm going to go collect that i'll be right back Ooh, all right guys we're in down south 
like the next guy. Ooh, let's go pick up arrow. We get some leeches. And that leeches. Alright, let's see if we can scan that across here anyway. We already picked him up over there. We got this one. I don't see any more in this neck of the woods. Can't, can't see over there, so. Alright, keep looking. Well, there's one at the Pelican Shack. Dropped in here. He's just around the corner. More leeches. Look at him. Alright, what else we got? Uh, uh, can't get there from here. That's another spawn in there. Huh? Sure we can. I don't think they're gonna have any out on the docks. Alright, so let's head over there. Alright, here we are, good old tobacco lane. Looks like we got a couple of oh, we got a couple of things over here. Somebody else is here from this. Oh, pretty sweet. Somebody joined me. Alright, from the from the club. Alright, what do we got here? Tombstones, folks. Let's take a look. Oh, there's our vulture claw. That's pretty cool. We got another one of them. Let's get that one. There's our bony shad reward. That's pretty cool. Easy there, fella. Easy, big fella. There's some sour bread. That'll help us out in our journey. There's Jules coming over to join us. She's got her pumpkin head on today. Like she'll be helping us out. We'll be on the mission here. So, hi, Jules. Welcome aboard. I hope you got everything collected. Looks like you've been uh, working hard at it. All right. From here, guys, let's take a look what we've got going on. So, I think we collected. I think we hit everything. Hit there. I hit it there. I haven't taken a look over there. I'm going to go take a look over here at the upside down, and I'll be back. Okay, guys. I'm back. Um, it's now 7:49. I caught enough fish. I think I got 14 grand in in the, in the pocket here. So we made enough to cover the expenses. 13.3 to get in here. By the way, Jules is here from the, from Fishing Planet, uh, Frumpy Buckle Scorpion Club. So she's hanging out with me today. She's doing the mission right now to herself. So I'm about. She's already into the nighttime working on it. I wanted to get. I wanted to get some money in the bank so I didn't have to stay after work. All right. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to fast forward. We're going to fast forward to the dark. And it should be this part of the mission. There we go. Now we're at the dark. We need sour bread, moldy cheese, and dried locusts. Well, I have them. I got them. Run up all red. So let's get started here. Uh, <clears throat> Just so you guys know where I'm at. Let me pull out my map. All right, we're, we're still down here. Um, same spot where where I spot where we dropped in at. I don't remember the name of it now. All right, so stand right here. We're just throwing out, going right out into this hole right here. The two trees are right along the side right here. Boom and boom, right here in front. Going right out in. But it's, I'm just hitting this hole. In fact, that's how I found these guys. I just marked the hole. Notice, there's, I've got one in every hole. Hole. That's all it says. Hole. Fish it. There's catfish in every one of them. I, I don't put a whole lot of markers in those. are just happy to beat those spots for the units. All right, so we're going to fish right down there in that hole. This guy has the sour bread. That's a little long there, Bach. That's a little long for that hole. Right back. This guy I got the dried locust. Short, Bach. It'll be off. All right. Why is this? Why is this flashlight yellow? What? Man, All right, guys, we got a minimum. Look, we already got somebody yakking. All right, I'll be right back. Oh, guys, here's our first one. Oh, look at that. It ain't even a damn catfish. It's a crappie. I don't care if it's a personal record. 
Oh, there we go. Non-target fish eating up all my bait. I'll be right back. Well, guys, I can see how this is going to be. Good thing I caught some fish ahead of time. Young channel cat. That's about, it looks like all we're going to catch on this stuff on this little, in the seven on hook. Jeez. Maybe I should, jeez, it's kind of stupid to be putting cheese on a seven on hook. Maybe I should drop my hook down to a four off. We'll see if maybe we'll get better luck. I don't know. We'll keep this guy and see what's happening. One fish in 40 minutes. Hmm. Be back. All right, guys. <clears throat> I'm back. I got on to it. It took me a while to figure out what the story is with these guys. I was catching all these trophies and big making money. I was sitting here fishing before I switched over to the dark time to start this thing. I was catching my normal way of catching catfish here. I'm going after the big guys. And I had seven, seven aught, six aught hooks on there, five aught hooks on there. Well, think about it for a second. I mean, it's illogical to take a six, seven aught hook and put a piece of cheese on it, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, a locust, to put a dried locust on it. Uh, it's just illogical. It doesn't make any sense. So I dropped my hook sizes down to four aught, three aught, two aught, right? Two aught is what I'm putting. The, I got the dried locust on a two aught. I got the moldy cheese on a four aught. I got the sour bread on a three aught. And now I'm producing fish, okay? So there's the story on that one. Don't go big. These, ch these small channel cats, they count. That's all you need. You're not going after the big guys. They're not going to bite on this. Now I did get, I did get one, um, I did get a flathead to take that moldy cheese. Right here. Nice trophy flathead took that moldy cheese just now. All right, so there was a 43 pounder on there. But other than that, as you can see, I was catching all these guys on shiners and, 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 and medium cup bait before I started the competition here. But now that I'm throwing the moldy cheeses and the sour breads, and I'm, a, I'm smaller fish, they're hitting that stuff, and um, smaller hooks. Now, unfortunately, we're also dealing with some skeleton bluegill in here. So um, we're getting some other stuff, and some trophy crappies are, are hitting this stuff on the two-odd hook. But um, we're catching fish. So we'll see how long it takes us now to get six of these guys. All right, guys, I'll be, I'm still fishing in that same hole, right? Right over in there. That's it. I'm just drop, dropping everything in there. Except for I have the three down rods, bottom rods going out here. Right? And then I have another I have another float rod with the sour bread on it. I'm trying to catch up. And he's actually the only one I've caught anything on the sour bread. And that's over here on the right. I've just been throwing him out there and letting him float a little bit. And I just started that. So. Alright, I'll be back. All right, guys, that was the six catfish on the moldy cheese. We got him. We got another one screaming here on the dried locust. But we got the moldy cheese off the bat. Now, that's what, that was with the four-aught hook. Got him the fastest. This is the two-aught hook. Like I said, we're getting these, we're getting these blue, these uh, bluegill skeleton fish a lot on this two-aught hook. So I might have to bump this one up to a three-aught. Let's see. We are catching a few catfish on here, but not many. All right, guys, we'll be back. All right, guys, I picked up the pace a little bit here with these young channel cats. I I got four rods down. Let me keep this guy. Got four rods down. There are a bottom rod and a match rod here floating out there. Um, grab my phoenix up, put a three-odd hook on him with some more of these dried locusts, and I've been just floating at, uh, I believe it's 40... 48 in, four feet down. I'm just throwing right out there to the right of my big catfish hole, and I'm getting these young ones. So, just another little point here of speeding this up a little bit. It's a little bit painstaking, but getting them. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, theory proven. Um, you know, these quick, these. These locusts aren't going to be on the bottom of, of, of the water. I mean, they're just not. They float. They 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 they're on the. They're kind of. You need to fish them on a float rod. Um, so these crickets on the bottom rod, as you can see, they're just not producing. We'll keep it. Everything that's producing fish right now. Our moldy cheese works pretty good. Um, everything that's producing fish right now. This is still a four out hook on this sour bread. But you know, just think about it. Locusts are closer to the top. They're not going. 
Got fish. Uh, here's another one of those skeleton things. Yep. Alrighty, well, we got him now on this rod. Alright, guys. Bim. Anyway, go to your float rod, go to, go to smaller tackle, and uh, it shouldn't take us too long here. We'll see ya. Alright, guys, just that fast with that float rod, Phoenix, three odd hooks, and the dry locust. Got those six out of the way, so they're off, off the deal. Alright, we'll load everything up. To Everything up with the sour bread, we need five more of them. Back. I don't know guys, it's hitting like a catfish, but I don't think it is. I think it's another one of them. Yep, bluegill skeleton. All right, we'll keep him. We need one more, fellas, and this thing's over. I'll be right back. Oh, there's our catfish, fellas. On a mat rod, beard hook, sourdough bread. That gets us the book. All right, let's keep this guy. Hold the fight. Now we got things to do. Oh, I knew you were going to do that. All right, get the book. Great job. We got all this money here. We got seven bay coins. There's items to place in my backpack. Okay, claim it. All right, we got a new mission here we got to do. The bunch of mandrake roots. The prisoner. All right, guys, I'll be back with this one. Let's see here. Okay, that's good. Track the mission. There's what we got to do. Let's get this number two out of the way here. Oh, we're looking at that. Man, they always have to do that. Okay, travel to Falcon. Go to Falcon in the midnight. Gather mandrake roots on trout lair. We're going to have to snag these. Gather mandrake roots on bridge of logs. Okay, there's another cat. We got him. We'll keep him. Put that rod away while we finish reading. Okay, gather mandrake roots on the mountain watcher. All right, we've got to go get... Bunch of mandrake roots. So that's what we're working on, fellas. All right. Okay, Buck. Samson. I don't know what that did over there. I did something. <clears throat> All right, we got the baits running. The damn baits. Tackle, I think that is. Tackle. Nope, that didn't. Yeah, it did. All right, we got rid of it. <clears throat> All right, guys, that takes care of it for this mission. I hope it helped out. Now, remember something here, because I, I made the mistake. I, I played around for the whole first hour thinking that there were going to be some kind of monster of demon fish or something. We were catching them big fish, and it wasn't the case at all. It was a matter of, should have thought about the baits. Look at what we're using. Dried locust, moldy cheese, sour bread. That's little fish. Little fish eat that. So, drop the hook sizes down to four, three, and two aughts, and we knock these 24 fish out in no time. All right, guys. Well, I hope that helped out a little bit. Remember, hit that like button. We're on to the next Halloween mission here, so I'll be back with that one. Never, ever give up the fight. We'll see you later.